We have to wear masks in shops now. I don't like it, particularly because my local supermarket are way too uh, overzealous, uh, officious, jobsworths. They turn me away. Apparently they need to be made out of cloth. Well, I didn't know this. I had my own perfectly serviceable, homemade, leather-ish mask. Um, uh, I mean, I hadn't had time to tan it properly and the blood was a bit unpleasant and the flies were a bit of a nuisance. But, you know, my face and mouth, my nose and mouth were covered, so I was wearing a proper mask. But no, I had to leave. I was disturbing the other customers. They were going to call the police. Also, the other uh, farm down the road are annoyed um, about what's happened to one of their pigs. Um, I mean, yeah, being environmentally friendly, right? Homemade, organic. Um, and I needed something that was homemade and organic to make the twine out of to tie it onto my head. And their toddler didn't need all that hair anyway, you know? So, it's, honestly, people overreact. I'm just trying to be resourceful. So in recent days, I have been uh, recording more singing and I have been mixing stuff. Singing wise, what have I been doing? Uh, well, the main thing has been the new version of Iron Bark. Um, Iron Bark is uh, the big long song at the end of my second album of the same name. Why am I re-recording it? It's because I want to have a good recording of the whole of the Seven Bells John saga. Um, so I've been re-recording that. Um, I'm really pleased with it actually. Um, I've got to the point where I've got quite good at this sort of um, home recording uh, malarkey if I do say so myself. I mean you know does it sound like it's recorded in a million pound studio or anything? No but it does sound uh, pretty good. Um, one of the things I think I've kind of worked out as well is um, you know I'm never gonna have lots of money for fancy equipment. So what I've ended up doing is putting a lot of time into uh, learning what I do have and uh, learning how it works. Um, so I'm using a lot of freebie plugins um, and uh, sort of cheap plugins and just you know out of the box stuff uh, that comes with what bits of software I do have. But I've had the same for a good few years and I've learned how to use it. Um, so you know, recent songs that have been released and that you've hopefully heard, like Racing Gravity and These Skeletons, I like those. Uh, these new ones that I'm working on, I also like the way they are sounding. Having said that, I haven't got finished mixes of the latest stuff, but I've got some stuff to show you. So I'm going to leave you with extracts of um, Through These Veins, uh, which is a sort of ballady thing. And also I Am Not Your Heart, uh, which is um, a song that I've always thought was a really good song that I frankly hadn't recorded as well as I should. So here's a few uh, extracts um, of those two things so you can hear what they're sounding like. All these years Propped up by chemicals All these years Feel my nerve endings hum The whole world Is lurking above the surface Under here I'm warm and I'm safe and numb Sing loud, sing harmony With all the rhythms of your flesh Sing loud, sing harmony With all that breathes Sing loud, sing harmony With all the rhythms of your flesh Through these veins Pumps the life that I Oh
fun thing that has happened recently is um, I've been trying to get my Facebook group whipped into shape. Uh, the Tom Slatter Immoral Supporters Group has sort of descended into a quagmire of awful puns, uh, which I'm not a fan of. So I'm trying to uh, gently, politely encourage them to do more creative things. Thankfully, some of them are obliging. In particular, my mate Graham uh, shared, he's a really good photographer, and he shared a picture and said, all right, Tom, use that as uh, inspiration for a song, which I did. Uh, and I'm really pleased with how it's sounding so far. It's not finished yet in terms of recording but i think it pretty much is in terms of songwriting um uh, it's called we look to the sky um because the picture was sort of a picture of a night sky sort of milky way stars all that sort of stuff um which i thought um you know obviously me being me made me think of aliens and speaking to aliens and stuff like that uh, so that's what the song does uh, sort of nerdy music um uh, note about that um there's uh, a load of sort of deliberate attempts to obscure the simple time signature uh, in it um idea that amongst others you know radiohead do it a lot and i've been listening to a lot of radiohead so i think that's where it's come from but yeah we look to the sky i'll give you an extract of that to finish this um vlog up with and then hopefully in the next few weeks uh, there'll be a finished uh, mixed version of that as well so stay tuned Something to 